What's going on guys on Sideballer TV, today I want to talk about Riyad Mahrez, shocked everyone this past summer when he exited the Man City club for the Saudi Arabia League. But guys Mahrez let the cat out the bag on why he left Man City, shocking news. But before I jump into this news, please, like share and subscribe to my channel on Sideballer TV. With four other player left the club this summer, this news come as shock after, Al Ali superstar Riyad Mahrez has said that Pep Guardiola and Siki Bagiristain were keen on him staying at Manchester City this summer. Mahrez gave an inside interview into his decision to bid farewell to the Man City after winning the treble. In June, journalist Graham Bailey revealed that the Algerian legend felt hurt about not partaking for Manchester City in either of their cup finals last season. Despite becoming the first player to score a hat-trick in an FA Cup semi-final since 1958, the former Leicester City winger watched from the sidelines as the Sky Blues beat Manchester United 2-1 in the final. Now, Riyad Mahrez has said that despite Pep Guardiola and Siki Bagiristain expressing their desire for him not to leave Manchester City, he felt the chance to join Al Ali was far too tempting for him to turn down. Siki Bagiristain really wanted me to stay at City and even Pep Guardiola. They made it clear to me. I weighed the pros and cons. And finally, I decided to leave. I don't regret it, I'm happy to be here, at Al Ali, Mars told Lequipe. I had two years left on my contract, I could have stayed. It was me who decided to leave. I felt this opportunity, to sign for Al Ali, wouldn't come again. Maybe it was time to leave, I'd spent five years at City and won everything. While the treble winner was largely brilliant during his time at the Etihad Stadium, he had lost his place in the side during the previous campaign after a sharp decline in his performances. Perhaps Pep Guardiola and Siki Bagiristain still believed that Riyad Mahrez could deliver in a Manchester City shirt beyond last season. But in all fairness, the 32-year-old had not been at his absolute best since the 2021-2022 campaign, making it the ideal time for all parties to move on in the summer. What do you think about Mahrez's interview? Do you think he did the right move for his career? Should Pep give Mahrez some play time in those big game? I want to hear from you all, you know how we do, leave your comment, see you all in the next one, Onside Baller TV, bye for now.